are back at the Mosh and I'm with Dr. Anthony and there's a new exhibit, Planet Pioneers. It is great to see you and I'm always just so impressed about what you guys are able to put together. So walk me through, what do we have here? Absolutely, and thanks for coming to see us. Uh, we are really excited about this exhibit. Uh, Planet Pioneers is a new exhibit from Imagine uh, Exhibitions and we've done a lot of business with them in the past and they, they never fail to deliver a highly interactive, multi-generational appeal, relevant uh, exhibit. So Planet Pioneers is really a STEM-based adventure that's focused on the question of what would it take for us to live on another planet? Uh, most of the activities are themed around Mars because that's our current target with the Artemis program with, with NASA. Uh, is to figure out how can we get to Mars and what can we do when we get there. Uh, so this exhibit will walk our guests through activities that would be focused on that. You know, how, how do I figure out what resources I need? Who do I need on my team? And what kind of leader would I be of that team? Uh, once I get there, where will I live? How will I survive? How will I grow food? And then there's some fun interactives along the way as well to illustrate some principles about how sound works in space, uh, how it affects our, our motion and our weight with the G-force that, uh, uh, that we attain. And uh, you even get a chance to drive the Mars rover across a uh, vertscape. And one of the things I love about all these exhibits, the hands-on approach when it comes to learning, you didn't fail here lots of different things you could play around with but learn at the same time. Absolutely, and what I like the most about the way they design these is that it's a it's not just a bunch of screens. Uh, there are touch screen activities, but there are also some gamified type modules where you can pilot a drone or land a rocket, hopefully better than I do. I was definitely not cut out to be a pilot. Uh, you can scan the planet to find, to find water resources, but there's also f physical interactives. You can build your own shelter out of the little uh, connects type pieces after watching a tutorial based on the NASA design for the Mars Ice House. And one of the things that's pretty unique about this exhibit here, with all of them, they travel throughout the country. But this one, it only had two stops prior to Jacksonville. So really new in the exhibit world, right? Uh, correct, and, and that's something that we're trying to uh, become more proficient. We book 18 to 24 months in advance. So I'm already nailing down what we're gonna have here in 2024. And one of my major uh, focus points in finding those exhibits is we want something that is new so that it's relevant to recent research or current topics, uh, that has that appeal for the whole family, something for everybody to do, and something that uh, you know obviously fits in our space well. It'll be here through April 23rd, but plenty of opportunity to come out. And one of the biggest things about this exhibit is the more times you come back, it's going to be different every time. It's a dynamic experience, so it's worth a return trip every couple weeks. 